Hello and welcome to the latest My Bradford vlog. I'm producer Jen and I thought I'd bring you here to Bradford and Bingley Rugby Club where the Mixability Rugby World Tournament is taking place as we speak. Now I'll come on to that in just a second but let me catch up, get you up to speed with what we've been up to with the project. So we've had loads of video action going on. Have you heard of the Homewood VIPs? Well, you can find out more up at the website mybradford.org. Now some of the stories go far further than just the website. Let's rewind to the start of this week. Okay, so it's Monday morning and we're at BBC Radio Leeds, the BBC Yorkshire HQ, and I'm here with Basha, who is coming to do an interview. How are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> you feeling a bit nervous? Nervous, nervous. Oh, you'll be fine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to follow him in. I'm not going to video his interview, but I'm going to follow him in and uh, have a chat to him after. We're going to be finding a little bit more about the work that Bashar has been doing in Bradford. And I've made a little film about that up at the My Bradford website, which you can check out. We also had artist Jean McEwen come in to the mid-morning show and talk about her fantastic Were Bradford project, which is an art project right in the middle of Kirkgate Market, for those of you who don't know. And after Jean had had a chat on BBC Lee, she went back to Bradford and none other than Josie Long, the comedian, popped up at the store and put on an impromptu gig. And here are the pictures to prove it. Now, talking of pictures, we've had some awesome ones up on the blog recently, including this one, which is a touching tribute to a local legend around these parts, the Bradford Jesus Man, which was crafted by local cartoonist Matt Dyson. Now, if you've got any pictures that you want to share with us, then you can email me, mybradford at bbc.co.uk, or if you're on your social media outlets, just use the hashtag mybradford, and I've always got my BDI open, so I'll be watching out for them. We also encourage people to get writing as well, and at the moment there's a brilliant blog up on the site by a local Bradford lass called Sophia Mahmood, which is well worth a check out. Which brings us here to the stands at Bradford and Bingley Rugby Club, where the Mixability Rugby World Tournament is taking place. And after a week of events, the finals are here tonight. And one man who has been casting his beady eye over proceedings all week is this man here, John Ashton, who is a regular contributor to the My Bradford site. And he's been taking all the snaps that you've seen in this vlog. John, how's it been? It's, uh, in a word, it's been fantastic. Um, there have been teams here from almost literally all over the world, um, mainly from Europe, but we've had some players from Argentina as well, but uh, we've had representatives from Spain, from France, Italy, uh, all of the home countries, uh, Ireland, and um, it's been played in a fantastic spirit, uh, very competitive at times, but always with um, the idea in mind that people are here to enjoy themselves and to meet new friends um, and to, to have a good time basically. Now who is in the final tonight then? As far as I know, um, the Bumbles, which is the Bradford and Bingley's uh, mixed ability rugby team, are in the final and I'm not so sure who their opponents are. Um, it may well be a Welsh team uh, the Clanetley Warriors, who um, are another long-established um, mixed ability team, um, but I'm not entirely sure. There is also a third and fourth place final, so there'll be another two teams involved uh, in proceedings as well. Well, whatever the weather, the Bumbles are through, so we'll have to finish the vlog off this week. Shall we have a Come On You Bumbles to finish off, right? To okay. the screen. One, two, three. Come, Come on, on, you Bumbles! bumbles.